Hi, hello, good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel, Ucharia's Vlogs, to another new exciting travel vlog where I'll be taking you all to the Kailash of South India, or most people say it as Kailash on Earth. That is none other than Swami Mallikarjuna Jatilinga Temple at Sri Shaila Mandra Pradesh. So, are you guys all ready? So, let's not waste our time and let's start our journey to explore this auspicious place. And while going, I'll share all details like how to reach, where to stay, and how to get darshan and shiva tickets. What are the various shivas and darshans available? How to get nishadga vojanam or anaprasadam? What are the places to visit? Total cost and also the mythological and historical importance of this temple. So please stay tuned with me throughout this vlog to know A to Z details one by one so that it can help you for your tour to Mallikarjuna Jyotirlinga Yatra. So let's get started. We are visiting Sri Shalam Temple in Kartik Masam Guru Purnima, which is said to be the most auspicious day for the whole year, and Kartik Masam is favorite month for Lord Shiva. It is said that if we light up the pumps in this auspicious day with a wish in our mind, that that wish becomes successful. So guys, we have started our journey at around 8 a.m. in the morning. And first of all, I'll let you know how to reach Sri Shailam. We can reach Sri Shailam by three ways. If you opt for car, then it will take around five hours to reach Sri Shailam from Hyderabad, and it is the fastest way. You can reach by train also. The nearest station to Sri Shailam is Markapur Road. The distance of Sri Shailam from Markapur Road is around 90 kilometers, which you have to travel by bus. For booking bus tickets, you can reach out to the website www.apsrtconline.in. You can reach by a bus from Hyderabad or Secunderabad bus stand to Sri Shailam by booking from the same website or TSRTC website which takes around 400 rupees and 7 to 8 hours. So while talking we have reached Dindi and this is Dindi Dam over Krishna River and here you can see some mesmerizing view and some migrant birds and you can spend some awesome time with your family or friends wherever you have come with. You can halt here for having your breakfast or lunch at Haritha Government Resort where you can enjoy the scenic beauty with amazing food. We have halted here for around half an hour, took some good food and enjoyed the scenic beauty and then with having cool view started our journey again. Now we have reached Tiger Reserve Forest. If you are coming by road, you have to cross the Tiger Reserve Forest and it will take around 45 minutes to 1 hour to cross the forest. And most important point is the forest remains open from 6 am to 6 pm. So make sure you can cross the forest before 6 pm. While crossing, we have witnessed some deer crossing the road and we stopped our car for some time. It was an amazing experience to witness such an amazing wildlife view while passing through the dense forest. One more thing I have observed that many people were doing picnic in this dense forest and feeding monkeys but it is strictly prohibited to feed monkeys or any animals and do picnic in the jungle because it is not safe and it is strictly prohibited. In this dense forest, you can do jungle safari also which is named as Sri Shailam Tiger Reserve so for that you have to do bookings so guys while talking we have crossed the jungle and now we came to hilltop resort for having a lunch and the location of this resort is very nice i must tell you you can stay over here also in the cottages of the resort and you can see the view this is a krishna river and how beautiful the view is you can see the mesmerizing view you can witness in the morning as well as in night if you are staying in these cottages so while witnessing the mesmerizing view we got a call that our lunch has been served and we came to our places for having our lunch and the food was really very nice as well as a view so everything is very nice about this resort and now we will start our journey for Sri Shailam so this is the connecting bridge that connects Andhra Pradesh with Telangana and we were coming from Telangana and we are heading towards Andhra Pradesh and Andhra Pradesh welcomes us that you can see already this is the toll gate of Andhra Pradesh Bhut chakkar gadda Iska kya kya khate hai? Haa ah, khana khate Kya hota hai khan se? Heat, gas, BP, sugar, control Kitna karke? 50 rupees so we have taken a slice and it took 50 rupees. So now I'll let you people know the significance and importance of Sri Shailam and the Malikarjuna Jyotirlinga Temple and Brahmaramba Devi Temple. Malikarjuna Jyotirlinga Temple is one of the only three temples in India that are dedicated to both Jyotirlinga and Shaktipit. It is a sacred and holy pilgrimage place which is having both Jyotirlinga of Lord Shiva and Shaktipit of Mata Parvati presiding together in this temple. Malikarjuna is a combination of Mallika and Arjuna. 
it is believed that Lord Shiva appeared as Arjuna on Amavasya and Goddess Parvati as Mallika on Purnima, hence the name Mallikarjuna. Sri Shailam is located at around 180 kilometers from Karnal district of Andhra Pradesh. So now I will tell you where to stay if you are coming to Sri Shailam. In Sri Shailam, there is no private hotel, so if you want to stay for a night or two in Sri Shailam, you have to book an accommodation from Sri Shailam Devasthanam Trust by online or after reaching also you can book it. In our case, we went there without booking an accommodation and we went to the central accommodation center and they allocated us to Mallikarjuna Satsang Sadhanam which is a new building and a very hygienic and clean building. They will take 1500 rupees from you where 500 is deposit charge and it is refundable and the actual charge is 1000 rupees for a non ac room. Other than trust rooms, there is a hotel Haritha which is an AP state accommodation center and also you have to book it online. Apart from this, there are dormitories which takes 100 rupees per head and for 24 hours. I am showing you our stay where we have stayed for a night and here geyser facilities are also available and you can see it is a big room also and the whole sadhanam is very nice and clean and every door it is decorated with flowers as you can see. Tomorrow morning I will show you the rooftop view as well. We have visited Sri Shailam temple in Kartik Masam Guru Purnima which is said to be the most auspicious day for the whole month and narrating the significance of Kartika Deepam, the temple priest said that Lord Shiva appeared as an endless flame of light before Lord Vishnu and Lord Brahma. Under the full moon, people light up the earth on Kartika Deepam. People celebrate the Kartika Deepam festival and seek blessings of Lord during the month of Kartikai. Is one lakh? Is one lakh. one crore. 65. Lighting diyas is an important Hindu tradition and is considered auspicious as these ardent lamps are meant to protect against bad spirits or negative energies and symbolize kindness and purity. You can find various South Indian clothes, various puja items, deepams and many more things in this market. Now I will tell you how to book various Steva and Darshanam tickets. So there are four types of Darshanams that is Free Darshanam, Shigra Darshanam that is of Rs 150 per head, Ati Shigra Darshanam that is of Rs 300 per head and Alankara Darshanam of Rs 500 each which you can book online from srishailadevasthanam.org website or you can book offline from the booking counter in front of the entry gate. For Shavers, there are various Paraksha and Protaksha Shavers like Kumkumarchana, Chandi Homam, Rudra Homam, Ritunjaya Homam, Go Puja, etc., which starts from Rs. 500 onwards. And you have to book Shavers only from shishailadevastanam.org website. So, after Darshanam, there are Laddu counters from where you can collect Laddus costing Rs. 20 each as Prashadam. There are arrangements for Anna Prashadams also where you can have free Prashadam starting from 11 a.m onwards till 3 30 pm and again from 5 30 pm onwards till 9 pm so while giving you brief idea about the darshanam and shivas available i am showing you the market complex and it is a very big market complex which remains open full night and here you can find various shops and various items of puja like idols kumkumam tilak then prashadams and various other things like dresses many fancy items and decorative items for your home Many things you can find over here. There are various Deepams that I have already showed you. The Samla Deepams are specially for Kartik Masam. These 365 Thresh Deepams are for whole year. 1 lakh threaded Deepams are for family and 1 crore threaded Deepams are for whole life prosperity. Here I am showing you the actual temple in front of which people light up the house. 
again when returning from the temple i found the same person who that time sold us bhu chakra katha so i have taken another slice of that because it tasted very nice it is very good for your health also so i have already told you that so after that we went to ganesh food plaza where we have taken our dinner and you can see you have taken fried rice veg fried rice and dosa good morning everyone as i have already told you yesterday that today i'll be going to sri shaila main temple darshanam and as you can see i am already ready and i decked up myself in a south indian traditional look so now we will be going for the darshanam that is alankar darshanam and sikra darshanam and i want to tell you another important thing that is kartik masham in south indian calendar is an auspicious month for worshiping lord shiva and visiting this temple that is sri shailam temple and i already told you how holy this place is because of the combination of jyotirlinga and shakti peet and it is known as the kailash of world so i have already told you everything so now i'll be going to visit the main temple of sri shailam to visit the shikra darshanam and alankar darshanam and another important thing i want to tell you that uh, today is kartik masham purnima that is full moon and today is the most auspicious day of whole kartik mas so we are very blessed that we are here today so without wasting any time let's go let's see the temple and while going i'll share all the details of how to book tickets of darshanams and shivas i'll share with you all let's go so as i have already told you yesterday night that i will take you to the rooftop to show you the mesmerizing view so now i came here before going to the temple and see the view it is really very nice and you can see the actual temple from here also i'll show you by zooming it so here you can see the lake also and see the view it is not less than any view point i must say and from here i can see one waterfall i am zooming it in and i'll show you i guess you can see it it is very nice so after that we came to the temple for alankar darshanam and you can see the crowd in the morning only and after that as other people i am also putting tilak on my forehead before entering the temple you have to submit your belongings like phone and everything to the cloak room and it will charge you rupees 10 for per phone and i am putting flower on my hair and after that i will visit the temple
एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू बिफोर दैट कार्तिक मशम गुरु पूर्णिमा इवनिंग सब प्रोग्राम विल हैपन एंड आई कैन सी द अरेंजमेंट्स आर गोइंग ऑन एंड यू कैन सी बिग थ्रेड्स देयर इट विल बी लाइटेड अप एंड आई यू कैन सी द अरेंजमेंट्स आर गोइंग ऑन फ्रॉम नाउ ओनली एंड नाउ यू कैन सी द क्राउड ऑल्सो सो नाउ विल गो एंड हैव अवर लंच एंड देन विल बी रेडी एंड विल कम टू सी द मेन प्रोग्राम इन द इवनिंग वी वेंट टू गणेश फूड कोर्ट एंड हैड इडलीज इन आर लंच Hi guys so this is the rooftop that i have showed you in the morning i came so now the view is totally different and awesome i will show you see the temple you can see the mallikarjuna swami temple and here the lake i have shown you right that thing also you can see how we are going to the temple only so let's go we'll talk to you later As I already told you, they refunded the deposit charge. Now we are going to see the main program, and from here only you can see the crowd, how crowded it is, and many people are sitting for lighting up the ashes on the full moon or Guru Purnima of Kartik Marsham, and they are sitting in a queue for performing the puja and lighting up the ashes. You can see. So yeah, I'm trying to go in front, and you can see the crowd. I don't know I'll be able to go to the front row or not, but yeah, I'll try, and I'll definitely show you this auspicious occasion. So let's go. After seeing the occasion, you can see the beautiful full moon from here, and it was really an unplanned trip. And coming in the sacred temple on this auspicious day, that also in an unplanned way is really a blessing from Lord Shiva indeed. So next morning, with a heavy heart, we have started our journey to return back. 
home from Sri Shailam and while returning we'll cover the sightseeing points of Sri Shailam and I'll tell you the places to visit near Sri Shailam. If you come to Sri Shailam then you must visit Sakshi Ganapati temple. Without visiting this temple Sri Shailam Yatra remains incomplete. There are plenty of places to visit. Those are Sri Shailam Dam, Brahma Ramha Devi Temple, Hatkishwara Temple, Octopus Viewpoint, Sri Shailam Tiger Reserve, Patal Ganga, Akka Mahadevi Cave, Chenchu Lakshmi Tribal Museum and you can do shopping also. Stay tuned with me till end and I'll show you all viewpoints that I have covered yet and definitely i'll also tell you another important thing that whoever have bought new car and have not done puja of the car they can come to sri shalam and do the r2 works that i am showing you that is equivalent to the puja of a new car they charge rupees 250 for each car so while talking i have come to shakshi dhanavati temple and here the crowd you can see and it is said by the priest of sri shalam that if you have not visited shakshi ganapati temple then your Sri Shailam Yatra remains incomplete. So you must visit Sakshi Ganapati temple while returning or while going to the Sri Shailam. So while returning you can see many people standing roadside selling handmade mat and we have purchased one and they are charging rupees 1000 for two and many varieties are available there you can buy for yourself also. So after that while talking we have reached another viewpoint that is Sri Shailam Dam. You can see the scenic view from here but I will say you one thing that in rainy season when the gate is open that time the view is really awesome but as it is a winter season so all gates are close so the view is not that much good but definitely come in the rainy season to see the actual view so we have come to our next point that is patal ganga so let's go Patal Ganga is situated in the backwaters of river Krishna. Patal Ganga is considered to be highly auspicious. It is also said to have medicinal properties. Many devotees can be seen taking a holy dip in the sacred water here. It is believed that taking a dip here can cure various kinds of diseases. I am buying one dia for floating it in the river and it is near to the temple only. It is a reservoir of the dam and the water is green in color so it is said as Patal Ganga. And the term Patal Ganga stands for underground water of river Ganga. It is been named so because the water floating from this spring is believed to be water of the Ganga which is considered to be extremely sacred by Hindus. It is said that if you float Diya in Patal Ganga with a wish then that wish becomes successful. So yeah now I am going to float that and you have to walk down many steps for reaching Patal Ganga. Now I will go for a boat ride in Patal Ganga Krishna river and they are charging 200 per head but you have to do bargaining for that. After that they are agreed with 150 rupees per head and now I will go for a mesmerizing boat ride. So we will show you definitely. Let's go. Returning from here and we are going amidst the jungle and definitely I will show you the view.
returning we have halted to hotel harita for having tea and snacks and i am showing you the resort while going also i have showed you it is very nice so yeah after that again we will start our journey and within an hour or two we will reach our home so guys we have enjoyed our two days unplanned trip to sri shailam and i guess you all have enjoyed a lot and i have given all information in this video and if you have liked my video then please do like comment share and definitely subscribe to my channel and share with your family and friends so that they can also plan accordingly and get the information to visit sri shailam we'll meet you in my next vlog till then bye bye